A rough day in retail and restaurant businesses. Both Pizza Hut and Walgreens announced major closures nationwide. Pizza Hut says it plans to close 500 stores as the chain plans to switch its focus to delivery and carryouts. Walgreens announced it will shutter 200 locations. And at the same time, Metro Detroit was left off of a new list of closures for Sears and Kmart stores. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has a look at what you need to know. This is the Walgreens at 14 and Middle Belt. And this Walgreens is on 14 Mile and Orchard Lake. The two Walgreens are just about a mile apart. Super convenient, right? It's the kind of convenience, though, this next expert says could be going away. It's just so convenient, like you can't beat that. When Matt Shagney needs something quick, he doesn't have to wait very long. Drugstores like Walgreens always steps away. On Amazon, it takes two days for everything to get there. Like, you need a lot of this stuff now. But his go-to quick stop could be on the chopping block. The company announcing it'll shutter 200 stores after reporting a weak profit outlook for 2019. Experts say it's not surprising with the model of drugstores at every corner long gone. It was a different game that a number of retailers were playing at one time, which was basically a saturation site model. And it's not only sites like Amazon creating tough headwinds. People will combine shopping trips at, say, a Target or a Kroger, and they'll get their, their pharmacy, you know, their prescriptions will get filled there. It's not just online. It's the advent of all of these other channels of competition. Walgreens hasn't revealed which stores will close and says it doesn't plan to. They just may not have completely agreed on which stores those are yet. The company promises the closures will have minimal disruption to customers, instead pushing them to go to the next closest location. But some shoppers we spoke to seem to think otherwise. My whole family, we get our medicine from here. If it closed down, it would just be like a hassle. If you needed to get a prescription filled, if not here, where would you go? Well, the other closest drugstore is CVS, I suppose, but I really don't want to do that, so I don't know. I hope they don't close it. When it comes to store closings more generally, 7,600 are already slated to close this year and 12,000 are expected to close by the end of the year. We know you want to know about it, so we're going to track it both on air and online at WXYZ.com. In West Bloomfield, Amira David, 7 Action News. Some tough news there, Amira, thank you. But